Today we talk about why meditation habits doesn't work anymore based on a neuroscientific background. In other videos we already talked about what to do when meditation doesn't work anymore, but now it goes about the why. What happens in our body, in our consciousness, when meditation suddenly doesn't work anymore? Most of you are very developed, but some still distract with their phone in the morning or since the morning. For that, I have a special video about how to focus. But for those who have already overcome to look on the phone at the morning, but still it does not work, there is a special video which is not about meditation, but just on how to get more focus in the morning. First of all, before you meditate and then it comes to the meditation. So most of you can bear the pure life without the phone and that's very good. And on that basis, we will just work with real obstacles in meditation, not just the phone or something like that. One why is of course the ego. Because the ego is related to our senses. The ego gets its information through the eyes, through the touch sense, through the taste, through the ears and believes that the outside world is the only world. The ego has no contact to the inside, where the actually life is, and it tries to bound us on the outside. This is actually also a reason when people of you, which are far developed, have problems to be more sensitive than other people. There is an extra video about that also. And exactly that problem, that you are more sensitive, that your senses work even better than for most of the people, that the ego tries even more to pull you on the outside world. The more far you are developed in your inside, it tries again and again every morning, it tries to pull you out to the outside world. This has also to do with the unconscious sleep. Even if your meditation was very good in the evening, then you have the unconscious sleep where you are even more unconscious than in the normal daytime consciousness. And then after then in the morning, is for many people actually not a good time to meditate. Therefore monks and people like that start even before the morning, that, I, that means already in the night at three or four. So when they are then already focused and then the day starts, then it works better. And the second and most neuroscientific aspect is actually pretty easy. You don't need extra knowledge for that. People nowadays learn it in the 11th class in biology. It's just knowledge about our genes. Because our genes not just determine our body and our body functions, our genes also determine our consciousness, our soul. And therefore, we go now deeper, but on a consciousness level, not just, but I will explain it easily on a bodily level first. And that's the main problem, actually. We have just a certain amount of genes. They are limited. But the body has much more functions than just this amount of genes that we have. So for every function, the body has to create from the genes that it has, has to create something. And when it needs a different thing, then it creates something different, but it takes the same genes. This is why we can't do some things at the same time, because then the genes are needed for that. And for another thing, when the genes are needed there, then of course we let go that one thing and we build the other thing. We are not conscious about these happenings, they just happen in the body. But the main point is that not all conditions can be at the same time. People with chronic disease, they know that. You can be ill or you can be healthy. And some people maybe have experience to heal themselves with meditation. I will come to that later also. So the genes, they set them together in a special condition. Sequence also named in a biology lesson at school. So some genes put themselves together for a certain sequence and then they have any function in the body. For example, there's an illness, so they set the sequence that there is an illness. Then healing happens, so the genes go away. Maybe a new one come, or maybe the same one, they build in another way. That means they build a new sequence. And then healing happens. Of course, lots of healing happens from alone. The body knows alone what to do. It, it works unconsciously. We are not aware about that. But you can also steer it. There are some extra videos from 
Joe Dispenza, John kabat and these guys which deal with healing through meditation, which really works and they have healed thousands of people. But what can you do now, not for healing, but instead for developing your consciousness? So let's say we have our genes in a special condition that we have a strong human mind, but we want to develop our consciousness in direction to the higher mind. So we have certain habits, certain attitudes, and we want to overcome that so that we can overcome the ego, that it comes to the higher mind, that the ego resolves itself and we develop. The first thing that you can do is to change your lifestyle. Whenever you change your lifestyle on the surface, just through any action that you change, also from time to time your genes will change. First of all, your genes will be confused. When you try something new, you, you try to establish something new in your lifestyle, then your mind will first of all have the old habit and will say to you, oh no, that doesn't feel comfortable, I don't want that, so let's switch back to the old habit. See, it will happen several times. You must be strong here and establish just new habits and attitudes. For example, if you say you start to eat vegan food, then you start to eat vegan food and then you will fall back maybe after a few days, but try it again and again and then you make it a new habit one day and automatically the genes will change and things, things will happen. Whatever you change on the bodily aspect through better activities, better habits, also it will have good effects on your consciousness. But now it comes also to the conscious effects. As well as you can change bodily habits like the food or whatever, you also can change mindsets. For example, you find out that you have a certain belief or a mindset which blocks you, that you can't really interact, that you can't really live free because you are always thinking the same thing and you are even aware about that, but you want to abolish that. So you have to think in new perspectives, you have to be open for something, you, you have to change here. But this is not so easy, like with bodily things. So what you can do here is the meditation. It's the same one like these people use, which were about healing. There are meditations to create new mindsets, new habits. Especially at meditation, there are certain linkages of genes, which we created in the past and which are not good. For example, from education, we created that while sitting, on a chair, in normal sitting, we have to think. But meditation is about non-thinking. So when you now were sitting all your life and thinking, then your genes are always in the constellation that th sitting has something to do with thinking. This is your sequence. And then you start with meditation, maybe also on a chair. Some people sit on a chair for that. And then your mind is confused and meditation doesn't work. So this is why people have another seat for meditation and another sitting style, then it will be not related to thinking. Then the mind knows, aha, thinking is when we sit there and meditating is when we sit there in another style. And that's okay, that's the normal way. But even after a period of time, even after years, it can work for years so good that you separate thinking sitting and meditation sitting extra and suddenly it doesn't work anymore. But this is because you make the new habit of the meditation sit, but also on that sitting style, you make it for me, for example, I made it a habit to sit in the meditation seat almost every day because first of all, I was not, my legs were not prepared for that. I was not fit for that. I couldn't sit for so long, but I wanted to make it a habit to sit longer for meditation. So I started to use this sit for other actions also for thinking, for reading, for everything. But that was a mistake because so I made it a habit while sitting in my meditation seat with thinking and I built a new sequence that I have this meditation sit and I think while that. So now I have several sequences to think and sit and that was the big failure that I made. The same is with going. We learn to go, we go with a friend, we are talking all the time. Talking is the same like thinking, but just on the surface, on the external world, at the social level. And so we talk and we make it a habit 
that we go outside, we go for a walk and we talk. Or when we are alone, we think. It's the same thing like with sitting. So going meditation also for many people is very hard to do because the sequence of the genes is related to thinking. And we have to practice so long to make a new habit that we not think while going or while sitting. But then there is a next thing and a very good thing. For many people, meditation while lying works very well. Because while lying, normally you sleep and you don't think. Or you try to sleep, whatever. But the good thing is you try to don't think. And so this is why for many people which start with meditation, lying is the best position. Okay, it's very dangerous because when you fall asleep and you don't meditate anymore, so that, that's very risky. But for a start, it's okay. Even when people start, they are very outburned, they are from everyday life, they are always tired, so they even can't meditate for so long. They will fall asleep in every meditation position, so it's not that bad. But for many people, this while lying is the best position, actually, because it is not already a habit which is linked with thinking. But from time to time, we also have to practice meditation while sitting, that it becomes that new habit and we link the new sequence in the genes. So you create your new habits, you create your new gene sequence and that's the right way. If there are any questions left, please let me know down below in the comments. Have a nice day. See you soon. Bye.